Yep, I'm making another like face review video or something. I made something similar to my second channel, but no one watches. No one will watch this either, but I don't know I just need to vent and talk. Um, I'm not gonna like repeat the things I've said in my last video, so you know whatever. But I was in need. I had abusive parents, and you know I suffered bullying. <sighs> Man, it's like a fucking anime villain origin story. It's kind of kind of funny at this point. It's kind of ridiculous how how bad it was. Um, you know, I, all the friends I've ever had, um, they betrayed my trust, I was never able to, like, find people who were like me, and people who I can relate to, so, generally speaking, my life has always been so lonely, I just can't relate to anyone, and I reached a point where I realized that I'm never gonna have any friends, I'm never gonna have a girlfriend, I don't have a family, I don't have parents, I mean, I do, but I have parents, so it doesn't count. Uh, I had to distance myself from them in order to t go from mis from miserable to slightly less miserable. So, and all these experiences, all the betrayals, all the people destroying my life, and my experience in college has just kind of reinforced my view that again, I'm not gonna have any friends, girlfriends, all of that. I'm never gonna have a career that I enjoy. I'm gonna be stuck working a shitty job for the rest of my life living a miserable, unfulfilled, grey life where I'm just working because... because I don't want to starve, I, I guess? I'm not too really sure. But that's going to be my life. I'm already half of those things, or all of them, except that I'm not working, so... I guess nothing much is going to change. But my point is, I've reached a point where I just don't know what to do anymore in my life, and even though I accomplished every single one of my goals, it's just... I don't really see any reason to just continue... Uh, existing in-game YouTube, okay, in-game, don't remove this, you bastards, uh, but yeah, I don't like see any reason to continue, because what's the point, you know, I don't have a family, so if I work a shitty job, where am I working for, I don't have any friends, I will never have a girlfriend, so do tell me, what am I working for exactly, and not only that, but like, my experience working has been incredibly shitty, I've been exploited, abused, not paid properly or not paid at all. I've done so much manual labor and I'm just tired. I see no reason to continue doing that anymore. It's like, for what? I, I, I don't know how people can do that anymore. In the past, I would like kind of judge people for being like, haha, look at him, he's working flipping burgers. And then I'm like, wow, that's going to be my fate. I was like, oh, look at them. They're not ambitious and they don't want to do something more with their lives. And they just flip burgers at like 40 years old. And I'm like, oh wait, that's going to be me. So I do feel bad for like having that opinion. But I don't know. Like I don't want to shit on workers. But it's just not for me. I don't see any reason to like. I want to have a job that like I use my creative sides. I use my brain. And if I can, then what's the point? Just being a tool for someone else? What's the point of any of that? Just working a job because you don't want to starve. The truth is... Slavery is still alive and kicking. It's just taking on a, a more different form. And that's what and that's the truth, that's a fact. You have more freedoms, you're a more fl free slave, but generally speaking, if you've gotten unlucky, then that's what awaits you, slavery. And for me, I don't want to be a wage slave, and I don't want to work something that I don't like for the rest of my life. Which means that living an unfulfilled, boring, grey life, where there's no color or no hope. It's just not for me. So for me, I would rather Fortnite myself. Um, and because of this experience, I've lived my whole life as a neat, on and off, admittedly, but a neat nonetheless. <sighs> and even though I was a neat, I have to say, in the summer of 2022 and onwards, I was actually happy for the first time in my life. I was drawing every day, I was making a lot of YouTube videos and exploring my creative sites. I had a few associates, I wouldn't consider them friends, now that I think about it, but I did have a few people I could talk to, and at one point I considered my friends. Um, I had online friends, which to this day I still miss them, and I still have a lot of nostalgia for that time period of my life because of them. I was playing amazing games in anime, and generally speaking my life was kind of fun, I have to admit, I really missed living as a need during that, that period of my life, you know, and the fact that 
uh, I don't know, because like during this time, I started like seeing a lot of Man History content, Black Pill, and it kind of like inspired me to start improving myself and better myself. So I started looking better. I'm I'm ugly now, but I still look really good. Um, I started like to improve my life. I started to like be more ambitious, and that's why I became more happy. And that's why during that time of my life, I was fulfilled. Um, and then, of course, I had the stupid idea of going to college, and my life spiraled out of control. Um, so, uh, th th there's a point to this, just hang on. But the reason why I'm saying you this is because I didn't, I didn't want to work anymore. During that time, working has been such a negative and awful experience, so I didn't want to do it. And it was either that or Fortnite in myself. So I decided to do something different. I decided to go on a self-improvement journey for like many years, and peaking at 2022 and 23. And during this time, I decided to go to college, and I did. I accomplished every single one of my goals, be more social, have more riz, be more able to like talk to people generally, and come out of my shell, and I did. I went to college, I achieved every single one of my goals, but eventually, those people I talked about, that I could really relate to, they betrayed my trust, they destroyed our friendship, and I became incredibly depressed. And when I became incredibly depressed, um, I isolate myself from people. And that puts a strain in friendships, and it puts a strain on relationships, other professional or just acquaintances. And as a result, I started to kind of alienate other people. And that was the start and the catalyst of all of this. So I became depressed, and obviously for some reason, people, when they see someone depressed, they try to make their lives worse. So I was a victim of single campaign. Uh, I kind of lashed out, I looked bad, and like a crazy person, so I got ostracized from my peers. Um, and I essentially suffered the form of like female bullying and social exclusion. Uh, Dr. K made a video on this, you can go watch, but that was pretty much what happened to me. And if it was like physical bullying or like more oral, or more direct bullying, I would be able to defend myself because I gotten pretty good at uh, defending myself from that. Because again, I was a victim of bullying, abusive parents and whatnot all my life when I was a kid and a teenager. And even now, I guess. So I, I know how to defend myself, but this type of bullying was different and I wasn't prepared for it. So it made me incredibly depressed and it burned me out because, you know, uh, I've reached a point where I didn't have any friends. So I was lonely again. Uh, I started like losing interest in all the things that I used to enjoy and I just became so depressed more than I was You know, I was depressed living as a need in my whole life, but this depression was much more worse Because of my friends that betrayed me and destroyed my trust in people and society and its systems and Because of the smear campaign and because of the social exclusion and female bullying go watch the Turkey videos again uh, because of this uh, I became super depressed uh, and swamped with work, uh, because as you can imagine, no, no one wanting to associate with you and having like 20 assignments and doing them all by yourself is incredibly difficult, as you can imagine. So, yeah, I I just couldn't handle it and I became super depressed and I burned out, as you can imagine. And I lost my colors. I see the world gray now. It's a metaphor actually, so I think you can get it. And I lost interest in everything. Um, I stopped drawing, I used to do it a lot, I stopped making YouTube videos, I don't do it anymore outside of a few exceptions. Um, I no longer enjoy video games, I no longer enjoy anime, I lost my trust in people, so I'm never gonna have any friends or girlfriends. And I stopped enjoying my degree, so I'm probably gonna drop out. So, I don't know, I, I don't know if I can forgive myself, because the fact that my life as a neat was way better than this. And if I had stayed as a neat, I could have maybe gotten a job as an illustrator or video editing. But instead, I decided to come to college and ruin my life. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I don't know if I can forgive myself. I'm, I'm starting to hate myself again. Because I had it all. A freedom to do whatever I wanted. I didn't have to worry about money or bills. I just, I, don't know, I was happy for the first time in my life and I was exploring my creative sides. I was finally figuring out what I wanted to do and who I was, and yet, 
it still ended up this way. I, I, I did everything I could. I accomplished every single one of my goals, and yet my life still turned out this way. <laughs> All because people are evil monsters. Isn't it funny? I try not to blame other people, but I just keep... Like, but the common denominator is not me, but other people. That's what I don't understand. <laughs> so, whatever. So, being a worker is not something I want. And the reason why I told you about my story in college is because... I haven't dropped out yet of college, but I'm planning on I'm planning on doing that. That's something I really want to do. What will I do after I drop out? I have no idea. <laughs> Again, when I was a kid and a teenager, I could like know instinctively what I needed to do, even even if I didn't admit to myself. But I reached a point in my life where I don't know what to do. It's not something that I know. I reached a point where I don't see any future for me. I don't see no hope. Like I did when I was a neat, or when I was getting bullied or abusive parents. I just lost everything. And if I drop out of college, then I'm just gonna go back to trying and Fortnite myself. I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you this, but I actually tried to Fortnite myself. Um, during that first year of college, I tried to uh, Fortnite my wrists. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not gonna show you because YouTube is very like uh, pedantic about that type of garbage. So I'm not gonna talk, or uh, sorry, I'm not gonna show it to you, or I'm not gonna say the words because fucking woke garbage, I guess. But yeah, I tried to do that, and I don't know. I've just reached a point where I just see no hope. I've been going back to drawing because like I want to be a mangaka or an artist again. Uh, so I've been drawing more and more recently, which is good. But college is starting, and my depression is going back to the shitter again. Well, it's already started, but I haven't go I haven't been going to the classes, so... But, yeah, but anyway, I'm going off topic. The reason why I told you this is because I'm probably going to drop out of college, and for me, I don't, I don't see any reason to continue. So, I'm going to ask you, what's even the point of existing anymore? Like, what's your solution? I would, live, I would love to have, like, think before you sleep, make a video on this, because, like, you really give some really good advice. Uh, but, I don't know. The problem with this is that, like, people say something along the lines of you should be more in touch with your feelings, you should talk about them more, but the moment you do, they look at you like you're some sort of piece of garbage. And they just treat you like you, you're awful, you're disgusting, especially if you're a man. If you're a man, no one cares. And that's the truth. If you're a man, no one gives a shit about you. So, again, what do I do? My life as a worker was awful and will be awful in the future because I have no talent or skills. I will never have any friends or girlfriends. I don't have a family. I don't want to stay in college because it's been one of the most awful experiences in my life. I've never been this miserable before and close to really ending it. Um, yeah. What do I do? I, I don't know anymore. Because people say something along the lines of, oh, it gets better, and you should continue at it, but what if it doesn't? You know? I don't think it will. And not only that, but people say that <laughs> you just gotta power through it, but how many more years? I've been struggling ever since I was born. My earliest memories are just my parents arguing, beating me up, my mother abusing me, my father as well. So, when does it get better, exactly? Because I haven't done anything. My only crime is being born and being different, and for that, I paid everything. I never got to experience my life as a kid, never going to parties, never doing things like young people do, never doing game nights or having dinner with friends. Just nothing. I never had those things. I never did those things that like young people do. I've always just been miserable, rotting in my bed, playing games. And I never will. I will never have a girlfriend. Or a family. Or some place to call home. The place where I live, the country, is close-minded, full of normie and NPCs. <laughs> Most of them don't have internet culture. Most of them don't have video game knowledge. Some of them watch anime and go to the internet, but... Very surface level, not enough to have a conversation. Or relate to. So. 
If I have to work a shitty job I don't like for the rest of my life, if I have to be alone for the rest of it, if I'm never gonna have that intimate feeling with someone, if, and if I'm never gonna have like, wait, I think somebody's coming, but if I'm having any of those things, then what's the point? What's the point of living? Just, yeah. I would like some answers and I would like someone to tell me because I don't know anymore. And I've tried, I accomplished every single thing I set out to do. And yet, it still ended up this way. So, yeah. Anyway, let's wrap this up. It just leads me to my next point of action. Um, I do have a psychologist. Um, she's not really helping. She, I don't think she's prepared to handle my case. I'm like a fucking level 99 boss. And she's like a, a level like one goon or something. So... I don't think she's gonna help me. And all of her, all of her advice has been kind of useless. So I don't think she's gonna help me. Uh, but I'm gonna stay there. Hopefully she will medicate me. And I'm gonna be zooted out of my mind to the point where I don't have any single coherent thoughts. That's what I want. Uh, so I'm gonna continue going to the therapist. But she might ruin my plan. Because my plan was to just stay here for the remainder of the college year. Because like I have um, a scholarship, so I get the money for doing nothing, and I have a dorm. I have a very shitty roommate, but better than being homeless, I suppose. So I was planning on like staying here and developing my skills. As I said, I've been drawing recently, and I want to learn how to draw to the point where I get, maybe get commissions and make a living out of it. Because I would love to do something that I enjoy, work on something that gives me meaning in my life. So yeah, that was my plan, but. You know, I was a fucking idiot and I told my psychologist about that plan and I have a feeling if I really end up giving up on her and not go anymore and if I just not go and if I just like continue not going to the classes, I'm pretty sure she's gonna tell my plan to the school services and get me kicked out of this place. So game over. <laughs> I guess that's what you get for trying to get help. You get punished, but this is speculation, so... But there's a very po big possibility that if I don't go to the classes, she will do that. Because when I told her, she was kind of, like, annoyed or pissed off. I could see it in her face. because And she even told me it was unfair. So, I'm pretty scared of what she will do if I start doing that. So, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll have to, like, start looking for an apartment soon. Because I really want to drop out. Again, I want to try and give it a chance this week. But if it's the same garbage it's, as it's always been, then I will drop out, I will give up, and I will stop coming. But yeah, that's going to be my plan. But if I can, then I'm going to stay here for like a year or uh, six months, or whenever I get kicked out. And during this time period, um, yeah, I'm just going to work, work on my skills while I can, because this is the last time I'm going to be young, because I'm 23 years old, so I'm going to be 24. <laughs> Not in my early 20s anymore. Wow, what did I do in my early 20s? Nothing. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to work on my uh, drawing skills uh, and just try and watch anime and games and whatever the fuck I want during that time period. Um, obviously, being a shut-in in my dorm, not going outside, only going outside for shopping, but for now, that seems like the best plan. So, yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to do because... Again, I'm just running from my problems. I'm running away from responsibility, but the reason why I'm doing that is because it's not worth it anymore. Me continuing college is not possible. Working is not possible. Friends, family, girlfriends, career, not gonna happen. So for now, I'm just gonna keep working on my skills and hopefully I'll have some sort of epiphany that's gonna take me out of the situation. And if not, and during those six months or one year or whenever I get kicked out of this place, because I'm gonna, I'm not gonna go to college anymore. Um, if I, if that happens, then I'll just, you know, get an apartment, if I can, waste the rest of my money, in my bank account and savings, and then just fortnight myself. I'm really gonna do it. I've already tried once, unsuccessfully, and if I cannot fortnight myself, then I will fortnight myself eventually. So, and that's going to be my plan. So, yeah.
I just don't understand why it had to be this way. I don't understand exactly what I did wrong. Because again, my only crime was being different. Not liking the same things other people do. Just, so, yeah. I don't trust people anymore. I don't trust the systems. And it's just a shame it had to be this way. Because all I ever wanted was a career doing something I enjoy. I wanted to have friends that were there for me and I for them. I wanted to care for them. I want to protect them and I want them to do the same for me. I want to have a girlfriend. Someone who I can be more intimate with. Someone who I can know and take care of more deeply than other people. I wanted a family. I wanted some parents to love me and nurture my talents. Because right now it's too late, right? I'm not young. And who the fuck are they going to hire? Me or some like kids who is like actually studying illustration? It's not going to be me, Paul. It truly isn't. Because the facts are there. So, if I can't have any of the things that I want in my life, even though I did everything right, and I went on a self-improvement journey, I watched a lot of Andrew Tate, <laughs> and I improved my life, funnily enough, then, what's the point? What's the point of living? Am I just alive to make someone else money? Am I just alive to just continue capitalism? which is one of the worst things to exist in this world. People complain about communism or wherever, or socialism or whatever other like, things that are out there, but man, capitalism is so much worse. <laughs> My God, you don't have any freedom here. So yeah, I don't know what to do anymore. There's no reason for my existence. The world just, I don't belong here. And I cannot move out of it because if I don't have a degree or a reputable enough job, then I'm not gonna get a visa. I'm not gonna get a visa and be able to go to America, which is what I would love to. Or go to Japan, or go to the UK or wherever, like other country that's good. Maybe not the UK or America. Again, I have no idea which one is good. But yeah, I reached a point where game over. No matter what I do, no matter what I try to rationalize, think about, or strategize, I see no future. I keep thinking about it. I keep torturing myself over and over again, keeping the wheels turning to some sort of like solution. But I don't see it. My eyes, I don't know if you can see them, but I, I just, I feel nothing. I feel nothing anymore. And it's edgy to say, it's like, I feel nothing anymore, I'm edgy. But I just don't. And I don't know what to do anymore. Again, I would love some feedback. Fe think before you sleep, please, man. I will literally uh, pay you $100 billion for you to make a video on this because your advice is amazing. You're not going to watch this, obviously, but, you know, I, I wish someone did and gave me advice because I don't know what to do. And if my psychologist isn't helping, again, I'm really waiting for those drugs to just make me a zombie. I don't want to think about anything anymore. But if she's not helping, then I don't think anything will. Because I, I did get therapy. People like I remember posting these like things on Reddit about my feelings, and people were like, you should get therapy. I'm in therapy, and guess what? Bitch. It's not helping. I'm in therapy. I got therapy. It's not doing anything. <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, what a shame. And the fact like people who are evil, people who deserve less than me, people who don't like deserve or acknowledge or are grateful for the things they have, the fact that they have it all and I have nothing, just, I don't understand. If God is real, which he isn't, then what a... What a sick person I must have been in my past life for all of this to happen to me. So yeah, I'm going to continue uh, being a neat and a shut-in or hikikomori. And yeah, we'll see what happens in these next months. Either I get kicked out or, or something. But for now, I'm just going to continue being like this. I will try to give school another chance, go next week, but if it doesn't go well, then again, I was just shut down completely. 
and I'm just gonna make plans to fortnite myself because it's not worth it anymore so yeah um, that's been the end of the video I'm gonna continue drawing in the meanwhile and hopefully things will, will, will go well for me my lizard brain keeps thinking and wishing that you know hoping that things will go well but realistically I, I know it's just a it's just a a pipe dream. It's just wishful thinking. Because if these patterns that I've gone in these patterns that I can see in my whole life have led me to a life of misery, even though I tried, even though I did everything right, then nothing will change. So yeah. Goodbye guys. When I when I do Fortnite myself eventually I will make a video out of it, so stay tuned, I guess. Or not. No one gives a shit anyway, so goodbye.